We are going to start off with three things where we take a closer look at the topics you guys are talking about in the sports world. So starting off this week, first things first, is Tampa Bay the new title town if the Lightning win the cup again? So Annalise, I know you're from Florida and I'm sure you can relate to the sentiment that it's been in a city that's been criticized a little bit for its lack of attendance at Bucks and Rays games. But however, the Bucks first season with Tom Brady brings them a championship. The Rays advanced to the World Series in 2020 with little to no fan base or money. Thirdly, the Lightning won the Stanley Cup in 2020. All I'm saying is it sounds kind of lit down there and if they can pull it off again, does that make Tampa the new title town and do they deserve it? Listen, <laughs> this might be a coincidence, but before I moved back here to Florida, I was in DC for almost two years and that was considered title town for a hot minute okay. because of the Caps, the Nats and the Mystics. Now I moved back to Florida and the titles just follow. The Bucks, champs. The Rays, climbing the charts of the AL East. The Bolts, champs. And they're well on their way to a back-to-back -back Stanley Cup situation. Call me crazy, but the answer is yes. Tampa, AKA Champa, is the newest <laughs> title town. Now, do we that. deserve it? to be determined, but we are the title town. <laughs> and speaking of champs, that brings us to our thing number two, Miss Serena Williams setback shocked the sports world. So it's of course always sad to see an athlete go down, especially someone so accomplished as Serena Williams, seeing her hurt. Um, it was her 20th Wimbledon. It ended as soon as it began with 34 minutes in because of a right hamstring injury. What hurts me the most is just how hard she tried to get her 24th Grand Slam single title, especially after having her daughter. When you see this happen, you never like it like that. But for, for me, this one really hurt. It did, Mackenzie. When Serena fell, like a little piece of me did too. And I started thinking, is this the last time we're gonna see her in the Wimbledon? And then you see other athletes also slipping on the court because of the wet grass. So everything was just disheartening. But Mackenzie, because of the legacy she has marked on the game of tennis, the sport is better when she is playing, regardless of her making it to Grand Slam number 24. And she's still chasing that. And she's an inspiration to athletes all over the world, men and women. She's a proud mother, wife, sister, friend. And to see her down with the legacy she's left on the game, and she's still leaving, she's still very much here. It's so difficult to see her not playing. I know, and we wish her the best of luck. Finally, we are going to be moving on to our thing number three. Pitchers getting sensitive over sticky stuff. We've mentioned in this show before that baseball is trying to crack down on foreign substances. Well, this week, the Twins' Josh Donaldson slugged a two-run homer off of White Sox pitcher Lucas Giolito. And then, this is what makes it, uh, makes it a thing. Once Donaldson crossed home plate, did this a little bit, rubbed his hands together, and said, not sticky anymore. So as you can imagine, that didn't go over well. And here's what Giolito had to say about it. He's a pest. Uh, you know, that's kind of a classless move. If you're going to talk, talk to my face. Pictures are getting mad salty about the sticky stuff. <laughs> this was some serious baseball pettiness. I mean, a Seattle pitcher was literally just suspended for a foreign substance in his glove. So it almost feels like it's a little too soon to be making these types of jokes during a game. But as Gilito later said, we won, the W is next to my name, and the Twins are staring up at the Sox in the division. So Chicago definitely gets the last laugh. Girl, this was just straight up funny. I I'm not gonna lie. Hey, sports fans, if you want to watch more sports seriously, be sure to check out these clips right here. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel to see all the great content from us here at USA Today Sports.